Okay. Trophy Taker Shuttle T-Lock Broadheads. These are <clears throat> not new broadheads. Um, they have been in the game for a long time. Um, probably 10 years maybe, somewhere around there. Uh, these are the 100 gram version. Um, I'm going to test these on uh, a milk jug. I have not done something like that in a long time. It's been too long. Um, so I'm going to open this up and really show you what they look like inside. These are the 100 grain version. Uh, brand new. I got them from my... Uh, trying to blank here for a second. I got them from my Bowhunter Box Club uh, a couple months ago and I haven't even opened these up yet so I've been very anxious to try these out. Um, let's take a closer look. All right, let's get started. Just had it. There it is. All right. I'll be careful popping those through. So. That is it right there. Fingernail shave. Pretty good. You can see a little bit of fingernail on there. Nice thing is, just unscrew that, take that off, and you pop your blades up right there. That's nice. The only downfall is if you lose this, you're going to have to keep it on an arrow. Blades give a little bit, not too much to be concerned about, but really nice. Uh, now it says that the ferrule is machined from a solid steel. So that, but that's just the ferrule, and that point is fairly sharp. I don't know if I would consider that. It's pretty sharp. I wouldn't want to mess around with it too much. Um, replacement blades are 20 bucks online. Not bad. Uh, like I said, these are the 100 grain version. And the cutting diameter is 1 and 1 8 inch. So not bad. Um, yeah, blades are fairly sharp. They seem real thin. But they're really not, which is nice. Let's see if I can't get it a little closer. They just look thin, but that's just because the bevel. Okay. So yeah, sharp, not as sharp as I would want them to be right out of the box. But not bad. around me. These are the Trophy Taker T-Locks. Um, just crazy. They look like a space shuttle. And I have not done a broadhead verse milk jug in a very long time. So down at the other end of the yard, I have <laughs> my kids right here. And then I have uh, another gallon jug down there waiting to be shot because it is trying to prey on my family. So here we go. Let's get into it. Jeez. That's cold. 
just a hair higher than what I wanted, but not bad. And it's just barely leaking out. What is this? Full pass through all the way. Oh. Yeah. But if I open the lid, it's all just going to come pouring out. There it is. How much time? No. Careful, okay. sweet girl. Why, Careful, that's still water sharp. Bottle? What? This is not edible water? No, it is, but it's just... It's an old... sweet tea container. Don't drag it on the ground. Stop, you little weirdo. I can't get any! <laughs> it's too small. So... This is the final product, everyone. <laughs> We're just going to dump it on so, our assistant right here, Tucker Long. Entrance. Exit. Exit. And there's even more of an exit right there. Yeah. It's because of that curve, so there's more surface area. But... Gordon really wants to drink. Yeah, I know. I'm thirsty. I would You're not so want to drink that nasty. So this <laughs> is... Um, Alright. I'm finishing project. We're just going to stab it a bunch of times. That is amazing. That looks tough. That is really sharp. Yeah, very sharp. It could it poke another hole. Someone. It probably could. You're going to have to put some force on it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, there you have it. That is the test of the Trophy Taker Shuttle T-Lock broadheads. Like I said, these are older broadheads. They've been around for a while. Um, tried and true. They're I, Obviously, they're great for people who like them. Um, I don't want to keep them, so I'm going to actually give these away to somebody else. But at 30 yards, it flies really good, as you can see right there and it hit just a hair high and it blew through the back pretty good sharp nice fixed broadhead um, average price uh, still looking around forty dollars for a three pack so not a great deal but not a bad deal and you know, if you've got some milk jugs in the backyard that are starting to uh, invade, then go ahead and get them. Shoot some of those. Just have fun with them or whatever. Uh, but if you noticed, it didn't really do much of, uh, I guess, bloodletting. But it, it just, until I took the lid off, it didn't even start gushing out blood. And even then, it didn't gush as much as some of the other fixed blades that I've done. So, just something to think about. Have fun with it. Do whatever. Uh, great broadhead. I wouldn't tell anybody to not buy it, but it's great. So, with that said, this is the end of the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and get some more out pretty soon. And that's it.